Hey everybody, this is Jeff Herring and I have a question for you today. Can you get 31 presentations from 27 top online expert speakers for free? We'll answer that question after a little bit of music here. Welcome, everyone, to the Content Profit Show, episode 31. So glad you're here. And right over here is my first online mentor, buddy, and friend, Tom. I know, right? Tom Antion, oh, wow. who is along with Ray. Is it, how do you, do you say Ray, Ray Brim? Brim, Brim. Yeah, Ray Brim <clears throat> is putting on something called Screw the Commute Virtual Summit. And we're going to um, we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Um Next show on Friday is we have as a guest, special guest, Michelle Phil, and we'll be taking her article and turn it into profitable digital products and maybe even begin an empire. Now, Tom, we do this normally on the show. One of the things the guest has got to bring besides an article is a dad joke. So, you know, we usually start out our, our conversations this way anyway. So um, why not, since you're the guest today, why don't you go first? Okay, let's see. Um, did you hear about the Barbie divorce doll? No. It comes with everything Ken had. Oh, <laughs> that's like I was going to switch to Jeff had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you um? Do you remember a guy named Louis Grizzard? Yes. Yeah. Okay. His great quote was, "I'm never getting married again." I'm just um, I'm just going to find a woman I hate and give her my house. You're, uh, <laughs> see, people ask me uh, all the time, "Have you ever been married?" And I said, "No, I never made the same mistake once." I, that's a good line. <laughs> that's a good line. So, um, you know what though? Um, you know, I don't think I'll get married again. But I was a little annoyed with my girlfriend. Yeah. Why? Day. Well, she told me I was immature. Yeah. So I told her to get out of my fort. <laughs> Well, did you did you know that I um, I I kind of am upset about this? I, I'm I'm an inventor, and I invented something, and people just don't appreciate my invention. So I invented a pencil with two erasers, and yeah. everybody's telling me how pointless that was. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more, and then we'll get to the main event. It's your your um, turn. <laughs> I went I went to the zoo the other day, and it was really disappointing. Because they they all they had there was one dog. Yeah. It was a shih tzu. Oh, I thought it was your ex. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Whoops. I got one more. Okay. All right. Okay. So and this is a kind of a sad one because uh, the uh, the owner of IKEA died. And <laughs> that was bad enough. But the uh, what are you laughing about? This is a sad thing. And uh -huh. uh, and uh, the the saddest part was they had to delay the funeral because nobody could figure out how to put the casket together. I, <laughs> that's why I started laughing already. Oh, uh, we could well, do this for well, the whole time. And the other thing is nobody could uh, could attend because they couldn't figure out how to get out of the store. <laughs> exactly. I think I've been there once, and that was that was um, bad twenty years ago. And you're still yeah. there. Yeah. So speaking of stores. A buddy of mine um, and a friend of his tried to rob a, a liquor store the other day. Yeah. And and one of them that wasn't really familiar with drinking um, held up a bottle and said, is this whiskey? And and my friend said, yeah, but not as much as robbing a bank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom, tell right. us about um, the Screw the Commute Virtual Summit. Well, uh, for those people that uh, don't know me, uh, Screw the Commute is based on the fact that I've never had a job. I've always had my own business since before graduating from college, really. And uh, I have a podcast called Screw the Commute. And today is the 700th episode. I don't know if you knew that, Jeff. Yep. And so we're having a big 70% off sale later. But, but um, 
So uh, I, I was on a couple other summits. I, I usually avoid them nowadays because the old style summit used to be you had to sit there all day long Gosh. to hit the live event of whoever you wanted to see. And if you couldn't see him, I was just a mess. I mean, yeah, you can always buy the videos and we have those also for this event. But the la- the uh, the nature of the event, the new style of summit is where, uh, for instance, it starts next Monday. And uh, I think that's, what is that, the 23rd? Yeah. And uh, all the speakers for that day are released on video to you. And you can watch them on demand, whoever you want, whenever you want. It's uh, like at 9 a.m. that morning, right? What's that? It's like at 9 a.m. that morning, right? And I believe Mm -hmm. a time they're released. And then you have 48 hours to watch any ones you want or all of them for free. And then on Tuesday, the next batch is released and you have 48 hours. So there's some overlap there. Uh, and so everybody loves this new format because who has time to sit? You know, what's that lady that says, ain't nobody got no time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. So it's uh, it's a great thing. And uh, most of them have about 20 speakers. But, you know, I'm an overachiever. So, so You always do things differently and over, yeah. over the top. So, uh, and also almost all of the other ones were just straight interviews. So we have some interviews, but most of the ones for my summit are master classes. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing five myself. I mean, you can run one of these yourself, folks, you know, but you don't even have to be on it. You could just gather the speakers and promote it. But, but uh, since it's mine, I want to make sure people get maximum value because that's how I roll. And uh, so I'm doing five master classes myself, one at the beginning of each day, Monday through Friday. And then we have loads of other great speakers. So I can tell them later what my master classes are going to be. But uh, and, and then we do have uh, the videos available uh, because some people want permanent access to these because there's going to be a million dollars worth of of uh, training here and you can't use it all at once. So a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, go to get the uh uh, the videos and and we have affiliates that are promoting them. Jeff is one of them, and so I really want you to help Jeff uh, be the winner of the affiliate contest. And I have brought some extra incentive for you to help him do that. And so he doesn't know about this, but um, if he wins, I am going to give him these extra bonuses. This is just for men. <laughs> coloring <laughs> and this is the mustache and beard version so you put these together and then you will not even recognize this guy ever again See? so if you you know he's got to use these if he wins the affiliate thing and uh and then that'll be a whole new look and there'll be all kinds of tiktok girls chasing him up and down the street and uh, oh, you know well, so it'll be a it'll well be a different um, different jeff herring put it that well way. well done well done <laughs> all right so when somebody registers for free they get raves launch a business with a virtual summit book yeah and they get your seven figure guide to getting and handling lots of customers without pulling your hair out. Yeah, and I got to tell you, just uh, we actually estimated it. Uh, just one of the tips in that book, the, the blue one that's coming from me, has right. saved me eight million keystrokes. This is wow. no, we yeah. actually estimated it. It's not just pulling that out of the sky. Uh, that's just one of the tips. And yeah. see, I yeah. want Jeff. I want people spending time with customers and prospects and developing products and creating content and all this stuff, not fighting with their computer all day long. Right. So, and all the tips are either free or cheap, but they're right there in front of you. If somebody would just teach you how to use them. And that's what I did in that book. So, so that's, we sell it for 27 bucks. I don't know how much the other guy sells it his for. So let's talk about the the expert sessions there's you on day one i remember this tom Mm -hmm. when i first mentored with you what is it now 15 16 years Mm -hmm. ago about this three-pronged attack well i developed that back around 19 late 1996 because i was starting to teach this i was uh, on my way to be a multimillionaire, which i hit around the year 2000 And people were begging me to teach this stuff. But there was so many things, even then, there was so many things to learn. People were getting confused. So I broke it down into three areas, which is website and shopping cart, 
So prong two is database and prong three is product development. And so it made it more simple for people. And it's lasted all these years because all the new stuff that's online can be plugged into any one of those three prongs. So, uh, so that's, uh, and then also on that session, I'm going to give you 15 mistakes that almost everybody's making on their website so you can fix them up. Oh, beautiful. That's worth the whole mm-hmm. thing. That's worth well, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's free to join this, folks. Oh, yeah, you don't it. have to buy the videos, folks. That's right. There's our buddy, Alan, um, keeping the world safe from his home office. I like that. Yeah, he's made a business out of him being, uh, he's an ex-attorney, and he he hated that. So uh, he's one of my martial arts teachers, uh, one of the few people in the world I trust my life to. But he's made a, a business out of active shooter training. And there's a, spe- you know, he's a partner in this business with a special kind of uh, pepper spray that doesn't get everywhere. It just gets the bad person yeah um and so he's made a whole business of that speaking training and so forth now the next guy i don't really know the next guy but uh, uh, let me talk about the partner for this Uh, his name is ray brem and he's the one that why i got excited about this new style it's it's his baby the technology to run the new style summit and so uh, he brought in some of the best people from his other summits to be on my summit so i don't know this person personally but uh, you know, any kind of uh, uh, funnel stuff is important and book stuff is important. So uh, and what, what I see in there is he's known as the affiliate guy. This is about building a, an affiliate um, army um, to help you sell your books and mm-hmm. others. There you go. Beautiful. And you got Rob Garcia. Now, this guy is <laughs> it's funny. He he uh, flunked out of high school, flunked out of college twice. <laughs> and he's a Ph.D. <laughs> I love kind it. It goes along with the pot higher and deeper stuff. Exactly. Yeah, and had a terrible childhood. Uh, uh, joined the Air Force that straightened him up, and then he went on to uh, create learning styles for people like him, which is like AD, ADHD, and and went on to get a PhD, and now he's a visibility expert. So, uh, uh, and he specializes in Reddit. He's got. Uh, uh, I've never seen anybody talk about this before, yeah. how to use Reddit, which is really powerful. But if you mess it up, people on Reddit eat their young, you know, so you got, <laughs> you got to do it right. I do it right. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to that one. And then here's our buddy Warren. Um, I've seen this presentation, the seven C's, and mm-hmm. I know it's going to be good. Well, he's one of the most brilliant people I know. I mean, yep. he is like, he's analytical to the nth degree and picks every little detail. And he, he started Octo Nation, the largest octopus yeah. fan club. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of people, if even Facebook had him come in to talk about community building and group building. And you'd think, how can you make money with an octopus fan club? Well, there's lots of ways. And he tells them uh, on that. So it's even offbeat stuff you can make money with. Yeah, yeah. And, and one of the benefits of it, I think, is that I can't see an octopus anymore without thinking of Warren. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it, this, this works. I saw an octopus onesie this morning for a little baby. You know, <laughs> it was funny. Oh, my goodness. All right. This, this, guy, this guy, I don't know uh, again, but again, the Ray that ran these other two top summits brought his best people to be in this one. So, uh, um, yeah, thinking like a publisher, not an author. And that's I've been teaching similar stuff for years where – you can write a book on something that you know nothing about just by interviewing experts and, and you're the publisher then, but you don't have to pay any royalties in this online world. So right. beautiful. So I don't know if that's what he's talking about, but uh, I can, I'm sure it's going to be good. And that's, that's just day one, boys and girls. Um, Donna participated in the do- in the bad dad jokes. Um, why did the dog get embarrassed? What? He was barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> That's good. Our mutual buddy, Donna Marie. Um, <laughs> then you've got another master class. I participated in this original master class, um, the six week one. And you guys, this is going to be good. What do you want to say about it, Tom? Well, no matter what you hear out there, the people at my level are all making the bulk of the money on email. The only people that dispute this is the people that sell social media training. <laughs> All right. But sure. to me, social media is a necessary evil to get them the heck off of there because you don't own any of the people or the database. 
when you get them off of there onto an email list, then you you have control over it. So, but there's lots of details. You don't want to get spam complaints and frequency and days of the week and all these little details are important. Subject lines, all that. Now, I don't know this person either. Do you? Pam? No, I don't know her. Okay. Uh, signature pro. So she's uh, obviously uh, talking about three day workshops. I don't know if it's uh, online or uh, live, but either way. Uh, you know, I've made money doing that, uh, both online and uh, live. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Brett, I know well. Tell your story about Brett. Years ago, um, what happened? I was I was scheduled to go out to California to speak, and I was at the doctor the other the day before or three days before, and my blood pressure was like two two twenty five over one fifteen you know, like stroke and heart attack um, world. And, um, you know, it was kind of a, a heart medical emergency, right? So I couldn't go. Um, and that's all been taken care of since then. I'm in, in great health. But um, he was so cool. He called me up and said, hey, listen, sorry, you know, this is going on. Sorry, you're not going to make it. Can I sell something from of yours from stage when I speak and when I have my exhibition booth? And I thought, that's a pretty cool thing to do. Nice guy, yeah. Yeah. So he's anyway, going to talk about speaking. Well, the, he's, um, yeah, he speaks now, but see, he's handled over 140 events where he was handling the back of the room sales. Yep. So he's seen every speaker on earth and, and tells you the, the pros and cons and what to do and what not to do that worked really well from the sales standpoint. I always, I talk about that too in my master class, but he's, I never worked the back of the room. I was always on stage. So he's right. got a different perspective on it that's really powerful. I love that view. All right. A, an email a day? Yeah. So she's got a little bit different take on uh, email marketing. But again, you see, we emphasize email because that's you own the database and that's where the money is. So uh, absolutely. I'm going to be watching her session too. Because, you know, the, I kind of live by the Japanese concept of Kaizen which is continuous learning, continuous yep. improvement. Yep. And uh, and an old coal yep. miner friend of mine used to say, uh, the schoolhouse door is always open. Yep. You know, that's why I watched every every other speaker. I, I watch stuff. I attend webinars because as soon as you think you know it all is when you're going downhill. Well, that's what I tell my, my students is that if you come across somebody that says they know everything about a topic, RLH, run like hell. Yeah, and guard your wallet on the way. <laughs> exactly and there's our buddy roberto yeah he he was known as a sponsorship expert but his partner warren uh and he are in this um uh that uh, community building thing together but uh he's talking about how to really stimulate word of mouth which is one of the most uh, effective uh marketing things so that's what he concentrated on that i love it and paul brody yeah i was in his summit and uh uh He's all about telling stories to brand your business. And I, I know that I've been hired to speak back when I was doing corporate speaking on based on a story. Yep. I couldn't remember my name, but I told a story that was impactful. And they said, get that guy that told the story on you know, something. So, so uh, yeah, stories are really important and copywriting. They're important and uh, speaking. They're important and promoting your business. Certainly. I love this one because I've, I've done actual entire talks just with stories. Mm -hmm. uh, to make points and it, it does well. And then you've got a podcasting masterclass. Right? Yeah. And this is both from the perspective of being a great guest where you can start that immediately. And then from the other perspective of, of having your own podcast, which got me speaking engagements. It made money from day one, if you know what you're doing. And then it got me invited to the White House. So uh, very powerful. And you meet people that you never could have gotten to because you're yeah. interviewing them. Say so, so there's all, yeah. all the details on being a great guest and being a great podcast host. I love it. Now, I love the, the phrase here, wages to wealth. Yeah, I don't know this lady either, but uh, it's very popular. And uh, it's the, you know, talking about the transition uh, from working uh, the dreaded J-O-B to uh, to working for yourself. So uh, and even you know, a lot of people are like, well, what do I do? How do I do it? And I don't know what I'm going to sell or do. And so she helps you with that. 
And and so this next one here, I thought you were being selective in your. In your, in your <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> I'm going to so, send him the clip. <laughs> so this is a this is a, a, a also a very unique session, like the Reddit session, in that uh, nobody else on Earth is talking about this. Nobody mm -hmm. else that I know of is doing it. This is Mike Stewart. He's got a gold album for Pac-Man Fever. So he's yep. been in the recording industry forever. And uh, so he has become expert at helping companies use a jingle and uh, a very specific way to get it advertised for free online to make people. It's like he calls it an earworm. You know, you hear something that gets yeah. stuck in your head. Yeah. So he created mine. And uh, hopefully by the time uh, uh, his session is on, we'll have a, a sample of mine underneath the uh, video. But uh, very, very unique thing. And he's got a, 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 he's in Nashville now. So he's got all these singers, these great singers that he can get oh, yeah. dirt, dirt cheap because they're not superstars. You know? so, and and uh, the other thing he's doing that's cool, he's now the piano player for the box tops. Yeah, yeah. I, heard heard that. I think that, I mean, that's like the epitome of his dream. Of going yeah. <laughs> I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, I've used groups all my life, so I'm interested in this one. Yeah, group coaching and masterminds. I, and I, again, I don't know her. Uh, I've done lots of masterminds. So one thing I rail against is these uh, supposed fake masterminds where there's 100 people in the room. I hope <laughs> we haven't talked about that. That's not a mastermind. That's a ripoff. Uh, so we'll see what she has to say about that. But um, and, and I haven't been a fan of group coaching. Although I promote, if you want to do that, great. But I, you know, mine's a very high end program that's all one on one. Right. The reason I don't like group coaching is because I have to dumb down stuff to the lowest common denominator. And some people are in there with people more advanced and less advanced. So yeah, if you can uh, create your group so that people are at relatively the same level, yes, you can do it. They can be, get in cheaper and you can reach more people. For sure. But mine is much more expensive. So it's one on one. And it's worth it. Um, so what are you doing with this guy? Well, um, I'm trying to uh, uh, get rid of some of this, <laughs> this stuff that I have here. People giving it to me all the time. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 21 income streams. We don't need to talk about that guy. You know, he's kind of over the hill. That's so. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever talked about this in public. I've done it with my students and high level. What, level. being over the hill? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. there's no such thing, man. I'm just getting started. Hey, um, I'm so far over the hill, I can't remember going up the hill. But um, <laughs> um, So, um, Derek. Derek, yeah. And uh, this guy uh, is Audiobooks Made Easy. He's responsible for my first audiobook, even though Mike Stewart, 23 years ago, got me started in audio recording. I've had hundreds and hundreds of recordings and stuff, but that's different than an audio book. There's very exacting standards you have to do to be accepted by Audible, which is the big gold standard. Now, if you're just selling the audio yourself, yeah, you could slop anything out there, but if you want to be on the big time, uh, he tells you how to do it very easily and how to set up your uh, recording area and the microphones, all that stuff. So he's he's awesome. And then you've got a pro speaking masterclass. That's really your wheelhouse. Yeah. So and this isn't on how to get speaking. This is how to maximize the amount of money anytime you speak. And uh, these, uh, it's really is true. These techniques are only known by people that have been there selling hundreds of thousands of dollars from the stage without ripoff by, you know, right. not the ripoff people because right. they have a bunch of different techniques. But um, I was telling somebody the other day, I think it was on a training, the story of because somebody was asking about, you know, should you have different links for a talk? And I told that story that you told me about um, you were on, on a, on a multi-speaker thing and it was on a Monday during football season. Oh. And you were supposed to do 90 minutes and they didn't they didn't get you started till 830. And so how'd you take care of that? Well, yeah, I see if you, if I had just started talking, nobody would have been listening. They would they're looking into the lounge and the pregame is on and they're going to miss the kickoff. So I just basically said, hey, I went to the meeting plan. I said, look, these people are going to kill both of us if I go over and do my 90 minutes. 
And she said, okay, what are you going to do? So I went up and I said, hey, I guarantee you that you'll be sitting in those chairs for the kickoff. And I'm going to reduce my presentation, but I'm going to give you the greatest stuff I can give you in the time that we have here. And then we're going to go watch football. Perfect. You know, mm -hmm. just stuff like that. You have as Love a pro, it. you know, an amateur is going to be freaking out, trying to talk faster and just yeah. get everything in yeah. and trying to you know, we'll so, record the game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to go to this one. This one sounds interesting. Well, Rain Parvis won me at a in a raffle at a big event. <laughs> <laughs> and when I found her, she was, I think, about 31 years old, living in her parents' garage and had no I, she was a part-time stand-up comedian, part-time fit model, which is not like uh, Victoria's Secret. This is like right. they just try clothes on you because you got a certain size. Or right. Right. Uh, so I interviewed her and I, I asked her, just got to know her. And it turned out that she was uh, always helping her friends get ready for dates and for New Year's Eve and dress and everything. I said, we're in Los Angeles, the biggest image city on earth. You're going to be an image consultant. And she's like, I can't do it. Yes, you can. Yeah. So I remember sitting in the hotel, um, Hilton Hotel in the lobby. She's sitting there and she wants to get a Starbucks. I said, you ain't getting a Starbucks until you sit down and you make the outline of the chapters of a book that you're going to, Tom, I can't do it. Well, you ain't getting any Starbucks. I'll sit here all day. And so she sat down and wrote oh. the uh, thing. And it's now the ultimate guide to style. I taught her how to crowdfund it. And uh, now she's the top, uh, the, she's number one on Yelp as the image consultant in Los Angeles. So, well, so she's, she's going to tell people how to update their wardrobes cheaply, how not to look like an old fart. Uh, and not have to buy new stuff to do it. And, uh, you know, she got me wearing these new glasses because she said, you look ah. like a physics professor. You know, you got to do upgrade your stuff. And I, I'm like, I can't. And and she said, you can't have any Starbucks till you get some new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet revenge. All right. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Now, I've been doing 30-minute webinars. Actually, they're 31. I call them 31 and done for years. So I want to see this one. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't know that guy either, but I've made a fortune on webinars, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Now, Christina Hills, uh, she specializes in helping people with WordPress websites. She's got hundreds and hundreds of people. You passed her up there. You in a hurry or what? Yeah, Christina Hills. Yeah, so uh, totally a nice woman. She quit a big job. She was working for Lucas Films, I think. Mm -hmm. And and when she had her baby, she said, there ain't no way I'm going to miss raising this baby. So she just quit. And she helps people with WordPress, hundreds and hundreds of them. Okay, Chris, I don't know, Chris, uh, consulting coaching business. Uh, I, it's it's going to be a little bit uh, maybe touchy-feely because she's talking about if you don't feel like you're the real thing, how to do it anyway and help people. So that's what that's about. Raven, yeah. I was on her, um, her summit in the fall and then she was Who, Chris or here. Raven, uh, Raven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Raven. She's, she's, she's a quite a flamboyant, uh, uh, person. <laughs> and, and she's going to talk about, she started with nothing at 55 years old, yeah. ended up getting, uh, Obama, the presidential award from Obama and started with absolute nothing on her kitchen, literally on her kitchen table, starting a talk show. Now she has her own network. And so she's uh, she's quite uh, quite a go-getter. I love it. I'm looking forward to this one. It become the multimillionaire guy or girl next door. Yes, yeah, people started coining me that because I'm pretty down-home kind of, you know, a customer here. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm the same as I am on stage as off stage. I, you yeah. know, I have dogs. I you know, I build stuff. I just it came from a small town, but I'm going to give you the mindset and uh, the techniques that if this is your goal, what you have to do to achieve it, you know, without, uh, you know, getting 10 divorces and, uh, and um, everybody, you know, no life, you know, so I love uh, it. that's that. And then and there's Ray. That's the guy. I love it. What's that? We've got your partner in this. I love it. Yeah, Ray. Uh, yeah. So he's going to talk about the mechanics of these uh, virtual summits. You can Beautiful. put one together with no online presence. You just gather the people and you're the producer. And uh, like I since I'm in it, I, I want, you know, I want to do sessions, but you don't have to. You can do one session or no sessions and still 
right. make uh, loads, get thousands of email addresses and make money off the, uh, the sales. And then if people like you personally, I mean, a lot of these people will en end up getting uh, clients from it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so oh, yeah. Uh, all, all beautiful. Is it is her name Honore? I think it's Honore, and I don't know yeah. her either. Um, and uh, so she's going to talk basically about entrepreneurship. You know what it's uh, the real what it's like to have your own business and uh, work for yourself. And I've known Susan for a long time. Riches and, and uh, niches. Yeah, so that's an old saying, but that yep. is really where the money is. If you try to sell everything to everybody, God help you. You know, it's just you can't really do it. So if you can really become known in your niche. That's uh, what she's going to talk about. And then Jackie uh, has this new uh, speaker platform that you can join. And uh, they give you leads and they teach you stuff. And uh, so it's all about speaking also. And then, I love uh, that what she's doing there because, I, you know, from the day I started, I did one teleseminar or one webinar a week for years. Mm -hmm. And I just stopped doing that last year. <clears throat> and it's, it's incredibly lucrative when you do it right. And then this looks good too, virtual events and summits like this one. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, more info. I don't think it's duplicating what Ray's talking about, just more information on how these uh, uh, virtual events and summits uh, can get you business. And uh, Glenn, how to can uh, cancel proof your business by owning all your assets. That's kind of like I just said about, I don't want to, all my eggs in the social media stuff because they I don't own that those people. I want to get them off of there to own the, the you know the, my my email list is an asset. I mean that's where I can hit a a button and a hundred thousand people hear from about me and then they send me money. You know right. <laughs> that's you my gotta, asset. You gotta love that. Yeah, this is an incredible lineup. I mean, mm -hmm. this is five days of heaven without the inconvenience of dying. Um, <laughs> And so, folks, the link is right up on the screen, jeffherring.com forward slash Tom, not complicated. Um, everything we've shown you here is free, including the two books you get as bonuses. And you'll you'll get every day is everything you'll have access to at 9 a.m. that day because they're all recorded. And then you'll have access to them for 48 hours, for two days. My recommendation is you jump on one of the, um, the next levels where you have access to them as long as you know these guys are alive um and that yeah, way and we also in throw in uh, ray throws in i think two extra courses for those who upgrade and i threw in my proprietary how to make a fortune speaking at fundraiser course i love so, it so uh, there's a lot of bonuses for there plus i mean it's just uh, i mean i think it's 67 bucks for this folks for uh 32 hour, 31 or 32 hours of the top people in the world teaching you stuff yeah, so think how much that would cost individually or think how much that would cost to go see that in person somewhere it, oh my yeah God. it'd be hundred thousand dollars at least and then yeah. so really a million dollars worth of training yeah yeah at least at least and so um folks this is this is a no-brainer at jeffherring.com forward slash tom it starts monday january 23rd and goes through friday january 27th um, and again, you'll get all the downloads for that day um, at nine o'clock that day. You don't have to sit around forever because who's got time for that? Um, so, Tom, thank you for doing this. Um, yeah, no, I'm thrilled to death. I'd love to see your your folks come over and profit from this. This is what we're on, the profit show, right? That, that's right. The content profit show. The profit and, is and, not and, only money. Profit is knowledge. That's that, exactly. You're building a list. So mad respect for Tom. I, I emailed him this morning and said, hey, I got an idea. And so a few hours later, here we are. Um, remember, folks. That's right. If Well, tell him what if, if this helped, if they helped me win. He's got to he's got to wear this stuff for a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, OK, deal. All right. <laughs> OK, if you win. My my my. First ex-wife always wanted me to dye my hair. And I was like, no, I'm a therapist. This makes me look like I know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> but if I win this affiliate contest, okay, okay. I will I will use that stuff. All right. That'll, on my oh, beard, boy, on my goatee, be and on my hair. You'll look okay? like me, basically. Get uh, absolutely. Glasses, they won't be able to tell us together. We're brothers from a different mother. That's right. It's always been my goal in life. <laughs> and in addition to that 
bonus, folks. If you help me win this affiliate contest, I will do a very, very special training for you. Um, that I haven't even decided what it is yet, but it'll be, um, it'll be, you know me, you'll, it'll be really, really good. All right. Um, any final jokes, Tom? Uh, just um, let me, let me think. Uh, oh, give me a subject. <laughs> Well, well, okay, here, I'll give you, if anybody has little kids out there, uh, why did the turtle cross the road? Why? To get to the shell station. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, if you'd thought about that long enough, you could get that one. All right, Tom, thanks. We'll see you Monday, right. and you'll get to see all these good people, too. See you, everybody. You know, I've always wondered, 